and welcome to birthday gift this message is for scorpio sun moon rising and venus all right let's get an energy update for you all see what message comes out i can tell you there's like an energy right now since the lion's gate portal is open for like chance happenings luck great lucky breaks things like that um chance meetings just uh destined faded type of meetings happening so just know the energy is strong for that felt the need to say that for y'all message for scorpio please seven of cups everything anything can happen right now okay everything is up in the air there's going to be a lot of choices decisions being made you may not know which one to choose. Like, I'm feeling like good choices out there right now. And this can be regarding anything. Mm -hmm. Strong attraction. Oh, for y'all. Oh, yes, for you. This is you, Queen of Cups. That message is coming out. There's options or there may be multiple people viewing you as an option. Or you may be like presented with several things that may be good for you right and these options don't have to be people okay i felt the need to clarify that these feel like good things being like presented to you and you may not know which one to choose some of you may try to uh, choose all of them right okay there we go Yes, okay. We got a person for somebody here. They're facing you. Um, they feel like a good suitor. They feel like a good option. Let's say that. So for some of y'all, it is people. Um, others of you, the options, the way you're making them is based on like which one has the best long-term potential versus which one is the most um, alluring or seducing or seductive, right? I'm seeing that these are love options for some of y'all. Okay, the message is coming out, how it's coming out. Communication. All right, some of you are online dating. I'm seeing technology. I'm seeing like electronic technology, the World Wide Web, like data. So I'm getting like emails a lot of notifications, things, and likes, and pokes, and it feels fun, actually. It feels fun to some of you. This may be a new experience. Wow. Some of you have never felt this excited about all these options. Wow. Yeah, y'all got options. <laughs> and it is people. I was saying earlier, it's not people. It doesn't have to be, but for some of y'all, it is. And these are good options. So we're going to break it down once I um, finish laying this spread. What a message, Scorpios. Yeah. These energies feel, it feels like they have experience. They've had experience. And they know what they want. Some of you, you have good options around you. Some of them, let's keep going. Okay. There's um. There's a need to like see something. There's a need to, there's a need for more clarity. Some of you may need to communicate more. Before you start making like these blanket um, statements as if they're true based on what you feel, uh, because uh, you like your intuition can be very strong. There's a need to like ask questions, have conversations, meet up maybe talk see if you're on the same page before you make them like a priority or before you give them too much credit based on just looks don't judge a book by its cover is where i want to go because i feel like they're presenting themselves very well like even me i felt like great options but then they're like hold on there's ask some questions have them conversations you know, ask for some clarity. 
because they're so oh yeah <laughs> y'all got options I mean I can't stress this enough here we got the king of pentacles king of swords emperor here these are actually really good options I'm just gonna say it how I'm feeling it so it's really like what you're gonna do Scorpio hmm. justice is here you're gonna have to be able to really come to your senses right uh, I'm getting other messages. Some of you may meet people who are still going through like separations, divorces, or um, they may be separated, divorced. So, yeah, okay, I see. Some of y'all, you are someone else's option and they need to make the choice. And this person has, they're wearing many hats. Like, I feel like this person is trying to, like, live a double life or something. That's somebody's message. Yep. Okay. This is hard for someone. So, I'm getting different messages. On one hand, I'm getting, like, really good options to the point where you're stuck. You don't know what to do. And you're just trying to weigh your options and what you should do, who you should choose. Others, I'm getting, it's vice versa. The person you're with, you are their option. And it's driving them crazy on what they need to do. Worrying, can't sleep at night. Um, wondering if this is the route they want to go because it will lead to a difficult, difficult ending. Let's keep going here. But they're saying, actually, mm -mm. They're saying like there's something better. I don't I don't know what that means, but let's keep going. Some of you with all these options, it's like it's not either of them. It's not either of them. So I don't know. Let's keep let's keep going. Yeah, uh, the reason you can't make a choice is because it's like someone's stuck in indecision. Eyes are covered. There's something you don't see. Something has not been truthfully spoken this was the big pause for me I was excited first line and then there was like hold on there's some truths that need to be spoken so I feel like y'all need to um, pull out the king of swords energy and start asking serious questions that's why he holds the sword so this is actually very important it can't be all emotion right the Queen of Cups holding the cup. You got to mix that cup with this sword. Um, a serious conversation needs to be had before you make whatever choice you need to make. Because I'm getting a lot of confusion here. Yeah, the devil. This was at the bottom of the deck as I was shuffling. And I remember he made he made that appearance to tell me, like, this is one of those things where everybody may not be working from their best energy. Someone's doing something that others will judge. Not that it is wrong, whatever they're doing, but others will judge it. So just know justice is here. It's at the center almost to say, hey, listen, whatever you're doing, just... Make sure it's balanced, it's fair. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you all, this could be someone you work with. You might be considering having a relationship with someone you work or your boss. And they're wanting you to really think about it. Like, take some time off, actually, some of you. Pull away and really think about this. Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords is here. Justice is here, so I feel like Somebody's like jumping into a world 
they've never jumped into, like doing something they've never done. And it may be something that others perceive as wrong, right? Not that it's wrong, but it may be perceived as wrong. Something about this feels a little taboo. So um, some of you, it, it feels like you might, it feels like you might be engaged in a relationship with someone who you know is in another relationship, right? They don't have to be married. I just feel like you know this person has a person and you're engaging anyway. This could be somebody you work with. This could be your boss, um, others of you. It can just be someone like, who is the friend of an ex, I'm getting that. There's something about it that is, um, it makes you wonder if it's the best thing to do. But I'm getting like many options, several options here. And they're just saying, maybe focus on work, pull back a little bit from romantic situations for now, because none of these options may be the best for you and something else could be, could be coming in very soon. And they're saying to wait, because whenever we get confusion that swirls us, it's because there's something better maybe. Maybe you shouldn't be making a decision right now. Maybe you should be confused because there's something coming along that has not been considered yet. I am getting that energy here. I wanna clarify the Queen of Cups. I wanna clarify you. Um, Let's just say this is not a situation about love. It's just a situation about something general. They're just wanting you to really ask more questions, talk a little bit more about it, and there might be another another option that comes in. So just wait before making a decision. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Some of you are tapping into your true self. And that's the part of you that wants to be in the decision-making process. So it's like, let the true you come out, your intuition, trust it. Live playfully and with a light heart. Don't be so serious. Lighten up a little bit, maybe laugh a little bit, giggle a little bit. You're caught up in drama. Let me see what this one is. Okay, because I was gonna say, you guys are getting a theme just like um, Capricorn's message a little bit. At the end, they got these two cards. Rise above the dark days of life. Don't fight them, but have faith that light will always return. So if it's like um, an up and down, because I am getting some of you are dealing with ups and downs, rise above it, because it's like, I, I feel like there's some drama every once in a while. They're saying just be a little bit more playful, getting your childlike energy, have fun that helps when you get into your childlike energy it helps with like tapping into the true self something about this i feel like there's more um tell me about the queen of cups please the world this is another constant right now many many cycles they're trying to get some of y'all over that hump it's like the final stage of a lesson and you're almost there so it's like something's about to close. Anything else? But I see. Okay. So we're, we got this two of swords again. And then the ace of swords. What's keeping something from closing is your indecision. What can help you make a decision is having a truthful conversation. So some of you need to speak some type of truth. Or have a... It's like have a meeting where you are discussing the facts of what's happening. Like we need to talk about this and we need to just nip it in the bud. That type of conversation can get things to move on and close out, okay? That's what I'm getting. Someone needs to have like a heart to heart with someone. Tell me about this, um, wow. Eight of Wands, I was asking about what kind of communication. Some of you, it may be around money, right? Pay raise, increase, or if it's not, because I am getting for some of y'all, it's work-related. The Eight of Wands is right next to the Emperor, which can be the boss. 
some of you need to start asking for more from someone. Like, what are you planning to do when it comes to reciprocity, giving back, etc.? So some of you, it's time to ask for more. I mean, it, it feels weird me saying that, but that's how it's coming out. I feel weird saying, like, you need to ask for more is what I'm trying to say. But that's how it came out. So I think that's for somebody specific, okay? And I'm going to leave it there. That's the message, Scorpio. It just feels like you have a lot of options, but I also feel like you're not at the place where you should be making a decision yet until some type of conversation is had. And until you have that conversation, it's going to feel very cloudy. It's going to feel like you don't know what to do. You're going to feel confused. It's like remaining perplexed and not knowing what to do. So some type of conversation is necessary. All right. That is your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.